Hi, I'm Laura and I'm Friday and today I'm here to talk to you about the Fault in Our Stars movie adaptation. It's 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. So this week, The Fault in Our Stars, the movie was officially released. Um, it was released uh, Thursday, June 5 here in Australia, um, but I believe it was released uh, June 6, I think, in the rest of the world. Um, when it comes to book to movie adaptations, I think there are three sort of really key things that somebody wants to get right. The first of these is casting. Um, in this book, I to movie adaptation, I really think the casting was done so well. You had... Um, Angela Egbert and Shailene Woodley as uh, Augustus Waters and Hazel Grace. And I think that both of them were just just really, really strong in the roles that they portrayed. They are both really tremendous actors. They had a nice amount of chemistry. I guess possibly the only flaw you could think of is the fact that they did play brother and sister in uh, Divergent earlier this year. Having said that, though, um, as somebody who is quite interested in both books, for me they are Hazel and Gus. They are not... Um, yeah, that's that's who they are, and they just played these roles so perfectly, it was excellent. I also think Laura Dern, who plays uh, Hazel's mother, was exceptional. She was just, just the perfect mother in this situation, and she, yeah, she did an amazing job. Um, another thing that, the second thing that you want to get right in a book-to-movie adaptation is uh, closeness in the movie to the book, as far as portrayals go. I think in The Fault in Our Stars, they did an excellent job of keeping true to the heart of the book. There was obviously some editing, but I think the key lines were in there for me. The perhaps only disappointment is um, the internet trailers that they had made. Um, some of the lines in the internet trailers weren't in the... Hi there. Some of the lines in the internet trailers weren't actually in the movie. Um, so I don't know if that was a particularly an Australian thing or if that is a national thing. But yeah, there were a few key lines that didn't quite make it into the movie cut, which I thought was interesting. Um, I'd be interested to see if any American friends uh, noticed that all the lines were in there because then perhaps it is like they've done regional cuts or something. Either way, I'm definitely buying the extended director's edition when it does come out on DVD so I can see if um, all the lines were in there or not. I think the third thing that you're looking for in a good book to movie adaptation uh, is uh, a good soundtrack. And I think this is where The Fault in Our Stars really shone. Um, the music was subtle, it wasn't overpowering, but towards the end it really built and it really helped swell the emotion that you felt when you watched the book. And, um, watched the movie, sorry. And I think, uh, it was done so well. It was just, it was really, really nice. Um, as far as things that I didn't like about it, um, gosh, there wasn't a lot. Willem Dafoe was excellent as the classic bad guy, which he does so well. Um, yeah, and I think they, they really played Gus with such a nice level of weakness, you know, like as well as being the, the hero and the handsome guy who she falls in love with, who's just got this massively, massively, uh, I guess, old for his time kind of view of the world as we know it and what everything means and how to how to take each day. Um, I think they showed a great job of showing also his weaknesses towards the end, his his stubbornness and his his lack of belief when when shit got real. So I think that was a really a really key key thing. Um, aside from that. I think it's definitely worth seeing, whether you're a fan of the book or not. And I don't think you need to have read the book to still appreciate the movie. I went with my partner. He's not read the book. He does know that I'm a diehard fan. But he did really enjoy the movie, or at least that's what he said. But hey, it was my birthday, so maybe he was also just being polite. Either way, he said he will definitely be watching the director's cut with me when it comes out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys check out The Fault in Our Stars, the movie this week. And I'll see you next week. See ya.